Right, may we have a look, please, at our first piece, which is How Beautiful Upon the Mountains by John Stainer. John Stainer was a very fine 19th century musician whose tradition has been kept up across the years since the 19th century, mainly in cathedrals and some parish churches which take their music really seriously. But he suffered, along with several other composers during the 60s and 70s, because people decided they didn't like it. The, the custom was not to like Stainer and people like him around the 60s and 70s. Certain of us kept going, though, with things like Stainer's Crucifixion, because it's so beautifully written for the voices and is exactly right for church services. My grandmother used to sing Stainer's Crucifixion um, in Marylebone, where it was originally written for, and they used to do it every single night of Holy Week, the Crucifixion by Stainer, which was a passion like the Bach passions, but for a parish church choir. So as you know, the passions, Matthew and John passion, are not possible for the average parish church choir, or even for the best parish church choirs, really. But, um, but these are. And this is beautiful, beautifully written for the voice. He was also a fine academic who ended up being professor of music at Oxford. He was unable to do anything else, so his biography goes, and so they got him a position as, as professor of music at Oxford, and he wrote a book about harmony, which is fascinating. In this piece, it's mostly well written so that we know exactly what we're doing, breaths at commas and punctuation marks, and nowhere else, unless I actually say. Um, so let's just go straight through it, I think, and see how it goes. All right. Um, as always in this acoustic, this lovely acoustic that we've got, things like H's at the beginning, how beautiful, started louder and longer than you would in normal conversation. That part, without overdoing it, just give a little bit more. And we'll see how it goes. Here we go. Please stand. Jonathan, would you like to just give um, an introduction at the speed you think it should be? So I'm not going to insist on my speed. Just show us and we'll join in. So. Thank you. Let's do it at that speed. Let's do it at his speed. Here we go. Because we're starting the piece, I might wonder if we'll have altos as well with that, and then join in the, and then join in the um, alto when the time comes. Morgan, you join in if you like as well, and you, I know you can blend beautifully. Okay, there's a little bit of vibrato coming through which we probably don't want, so let's have it nice and nice and straight from the beginning, and tell them about it. That's, that's beautiful. Don't forget on tidings, you put a little Z in there, Z, 
and because of this acoustic, we let the Z go on a little bit longer so that we can still hear the Z after the acoustic's gone. We do that in any acoustic, but particularly in this one because it's so, so lovely and full. Tidings, and make your own decisions where necessary about where, where an S goes, but we've mostly covered it, that you breathe only at commas. And so, and when it's low, how oh, a little bit, a little bit richer and a little bit stronger, okay? And altos, I couldn't hear at the beginning, bar five. I couldn't hear you come in with how oh, you because um, you were obliterated by the sopranos a little bit. So we need, really need to hear that H. Can I just hear you do that from the beginning? Um, let's go from actually bar three. Are the feet of him? Who likes the speed? Who thinks it should be faster? Who thinks it should be slower? Who likes the speed? Who thinks it should be faster? Who thinks it should be slower? Right, let's go a little bit faster. I probably allowed it to drag, okay? I, I won't say caused it to drag, okay? Okay, so uh, let's actually go from the beginning once again. Here we go. this when we are the one coming in at the beginning give it a little bit more and then when someone else comes in after because there, were, there are all four parts come in you just crush diminuendo just very slightly to allow the others to come through I actually going back to the tempo marking I love andante religioso um, isn't religion supposed to be joyful and uh, does religioso imply slow do you think I don't think it should. I think it should be joyful and uh, so of course it's religioso. So I think we cross out religioso because it's obvious, because we're singing it for so so andante, okay. Um, it's like crossing out espressivo because um, we always sing espressivo, don't we? Okay, so let's go from, and it's got a little bit too slow, shall we say. Let's go from page two at the bottom. That how you Beautiful upon the mouth. Bottom page two, first bar one. The place where it loses speed slight is if if we have a long note, more than one beat, or a dot on it. Da, de, de, de. And it's pretty straightforward stuff, this, so one can forget about that. Time. Can we, can we move on the upbeat to the second bar at, at the start of the first bar? At the bottom of page two. Sorry, bottom of page two. Are, are we doing the upbeat to the, the, to the second bar or straight from the beginning of the first bar? Because I think that would get confusing later. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm going to go from a different place now. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, I'll go from that place. Um, bottom page two, um, upbeat to the second bar. Okay, here we go. I'm pleased to say, I'm pleased to say that that H was probably a little bit too loud. It was brilliant. Okay, it's <laughs> skingle. Right, here we go. But it was very nice. Aren't you a bass? 
<laughs> because you, that was a nice F sharp. I hate to say it, but anyway. Here we go, the public at the same place. Zion, when we speak in English, we say Zion. When we're up in Latin, we'd say Zion. So it's Zion, that's Seth unto, and that's S A I T H, it's pronounced Seth. Seth unto Zion, Zion, thy God reigneth, thy God reigneth. Okay, let's go from that pub, uh, uh, page three, second line, first bar. Let's go from that pub. Here we go. Let's have a D, please. That, that puppet, and keep that those Ds up, ready. <laughs> Give four beats on that, like four slow beats on that final, on that final note, so that you know where the big middle of the double hairpin is. Don't overdo it. Um, can I just hear a nice P before it? Peace, everyone. Peace. Dare to do it slightly earlier with the organ this time. Peace. That's it. Peace. I love that noise. Uh, we get, I think we could do with a little bit more of it, actually. You're keeping it beautifully under the voices, but I think you could bring it up a little. Can we just try a bit? Um, let's go from... Let's just do that end and just check that we can hear. So let's do three and a quarter bars. That publishes peace. Anything you thought of any sort, not I just... Just thought sometimes the Ds were a little bit on the flat side, but I think... The what? The Ds. Oh, yeah, yes, all, absolutely. All the way through, da, like... Yeah, the, just the, a little. Yeah. Da, can everyone hum a D and then after, after, and then we'll hear the organ after you've hummed it. Everyone hum any old D. Let's hear the, let's hear the organ. I've heard sharper Ds than that. Let, let's, let's hear, sing it slight, very slightly sharp, please. Slightly sharp. That's it. And just so think of it sharp and then just let it descend. I don't know what it is about Ds and E flats in many people's registers, but um, 
and I can't even sing up there, but anyway. Is um, it, anything is else? It, is it just worth remembering not to lose the tempo at the breaths? I think sometimes we get that lovely phrase ending and then we just need yeah. to push back on again. I, yeah. think, I think that's where we're losing a lot of the, the speed. But. Yes, I agree. So we, we, immediately, after we've, um, immediately after we've taken a bre breath, we move it on because we've lost a bit of time on the breath. Nice piece, isn't it? It's gorgeous. I like it very much. Yeah. Do you remember we did Stainer in B-flat on the broadcast from here recently? Oh, yeah. And just another cracking bit of Stainer to, to I've known that since we way. stood in Durham Cathedral. It's stunning in Durham Cathedral, these great big old books. Anyway, here we go.